Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, video. In this video I'll be showing you how the nudge works. So the nudge uh, is a new functionality that you have access to if you're using the new Gmail. How do you know if you're using the new Gmail? Well the new Gmail compose button is white. So if your compose button is red or of another color, you'll know that you are not using the very uh, newest version of Gmail. So you make sure that you are using the new version. You know um, you can do that by clicking on the wheel. And here the, the first option that will be granted to you will say um, try out the new Gmail version. So make sure you hit that button if you are in the old version still of Gmail. So what does the nudge functionality do? The nudge functionality is here to help you to focus and be more productive. Basically, what does it do? If I send out an email to a colleague requesting a report, so in my email I say, hey, uh, Jeremy, could you please make sure to provide me with this information and the report um, by the end of the week, let's say. If I send out this email, Gmail will recognize that there is an action required from Jeremy's behalf. So Jeremy does need to provide me with some information. And so what will Gmail do? Gmail will recognize that there's a question in there. And a couple of days later, if Jeremy has not responded to my email, that specific email that I have just sent out will appear under my unread section. It will appear here and it will say sent I don't know, a couple of days ago, like two, four, three days ago, do you want to follow up? Okay. The other way around is also um, feasible. So let's imagine scenario number two, that Jeremy sends an email to myself and asks me to provide him with some information and a report. If after a couple of days I have not responded to Jeremy's email, the email will come back into my unread mail exactly like a new new unread email and it will say uh, you haven't replied do you want to reply to this email so it's basically a way of gmail helping you to follow up with emails but also to make sure that you respond to everybody and all the emails that you're getting okay so that is something that you can't really control. This is Gmail um, trying out this new functionality. Most of the cases, it does work and it is effective. Um, sometimes it's not, so just bear a little bit with Gmail as they figure out this functionality. Now, if you do not like this functionality at all, you can disable it. It is enabled automatically, so by default. But you do, if you do want to uh, remove it, if you don't like it at all, and it's just polluting your inbox, I'm going to show you how to disable it. So to disable it, click on the wheel and then click on settings. Once you're in here, just scroll down a little bit until you see nudge. Here you go nudge and so you can um, disable it for um, emails that you reply to and emails that um, are requested for you to follow up on so if you don't want these emails to be suggested to you anymore you just have to unselect these two options here and make sure of course as always to make to make uh, click on the save changes uh, down below Okay, so I do actually like um, this optionality, so I'm just going to select them again, and there I'm done. So I hope that this was useful. Let us know what you think about the nudge functionality and if it's helpful for you and your day-to-day -day job. If you have any questions, do let us know. Have a great day. Bye.